ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to my channel. My name's Matt. This is Way for Two Wheels. And today, we're getting blown down the river. Roll the music. As you can probably tell by the footage and the trees waving about it is bloody windy today it is really windy today oh shite shouldn't really be driving today but I feel a bit claustrophobic today so I'm going out for a ride I don't care also a few specks of rain in the air oh have we stalled what have we done go on lad. go on there not a lot of bikers about today, but I don't blame them. So today, we are heading towards the Riverside View Calf in Beverly. I have never, never been to this calf. So it'll be my first impressions on this place and yours as well. Unless you've been there before, pop it down in the comments. That's if we make it to Beverly. I mean, it really is windy today. Like, scary windy. But I, I honestly didn't... Oh, I did not give a crap today. I wanted to go out on bike. Yeah, so I've picked a... Uh, I've picked a 125 friendly route for you guys there on the smaller bikes. So there should be no problem you getting to this place. We're talking... Uh, an hour and a half from uh, from Wakefield so you'll have to work that out from where you are uh, 47 miles so that's about 50 miles we're going today 100 mile round trip in fact I will reset my there we go reset so from here 47 miles There is some blue skies poking through. Over there as well, you can see. Yeah, we're just under that big fluffy bag of bullshit there. Yeah, so we're heading towards Squires. I'm not going to stop. I might stop on the way back. See you a bit further down the road.
right, so the landscape's kind of opened up a little bit now and we are finally heading towards some blue skies. It might only be a little bit of blue sky, but it's blue sky. I just seem to be hovering under this dark cloud. Oh. It is still really windy. Come on, get out of my way. Now, at the moment, I think the wind's on my back. But when I turn around and head home, I think it's going to be smacking me around like hell. Oh, a nice little village. That uh, lorry in front of us, or flatbed in front of us, is very sketch is that that is very final destination I would overtake it but I can't see around it you remember this bridge was being the one where it were all flooded look at it now you wouldn't think would you that it was actually flooded all the way over those fields that's probably what these guys are doing here probably reinforcing the God, it was... I was actually up to the roadside here. Mental. This is Bubwith. And another cute little uh, English village. These houses, all pristine. Thank God for that, I was scared to death behind that thing. So the sun is starting to peak its head up, if you look up there. And, uh, and the wind's starting to die down a little bit, thank God. I will say this isn't the prettiest part of the country, but the riding round here is beautiful. They really look after the roads round here. Not that many potholes, so... Oh, damage the roads. And here we go. And there are nice roads to get you get your throttle down a bit as well. <laughs> so we are about 40 minutes away, 20 miles to go. Bikes running well. Sun's coming out. <laughs> Great time to be on a bike. Right now we are in the township of Bishop Burton. Again, another quaint little village. Oh, very nice pub. Yeah, I love the countryside. And now the, uh, now the sun's come out, the colours are coming out as well. It's 
going up near Normandy Barracks. Okay. Welcome to the historic town of Beverly. And this is Beverly Racecourse. And you are in the middle right now of Westwood Patch. Uh, sorry, get this one right. Westwood Pasture. If you look over there, in fact, I'll turn you over there, look. You'll see all the cows laid down in the field. Now, those cows roam this pasture freely. And they have cattle grids on the road to stop them getting out. So you do have to be careful of cattle on the road. You also have to be careful of people smacking you with a golf ball. Because there's a golf course just over there. And I have actually driven down here in my car and been hit by a golf, uh, golf ball. But yeah. But yeah, this is Westwood Pasture. Some more cattle down here. Look. <laughs> oh, and there's cow <coughs> on the road. Look at that, they're all taking shade under the trees. And they just roam freely. Isn't that amazing? But this is the town of Beverly, and it is a lovely little town, is Beverly. It's like if Bridlington and York had a baby. Because it's, it's very seaside, is Beverly, but it's also got a lot of history in it. Some of the places in Beverly are, are ancient. Oh, it's helmet. I have to adjust this helmet when I get out. Now we're not too far away now. I've got a feeling this place won't be as glamorous as the f last few videos. I'm thinking more industrial estate, but still a place to come. And here we are, Beverly's historic shipyard. <laughs> There we go. Alright guys, I'll get my shit together and show you around a bit. Yeah, some 
lads down there building a, a wide a wide beam barge. There's some rain, there's some rain ships. And I will call them ships. got chopped. Can you imagine the power of that thing. So this is us pulling away from the Riverview Calf. And I got it wrong earlier, it's the Riverview Calf, not the Riverside View Calf. I'm gonna have to go across this little bridge to you on the other side I think. say about the Riverview Calf? Well, like I was saying earlier, it's not, let me just put my visor down, not the most scenic place I've ever taken you. I mean, it is a nice ride and some lovely views around it, but you've got to take into consideration that this is in the middle of a, an industrial estate and an historic shipping yard. Now, personally, I could sit and stare at that machinery all day. I love stuff like that. I really do. Be careful on this road. It's, it's only a single file road, is this? But yeah, uh, the staff are lovely and friendly. It looked like the building itself used to be something else. It used to be like an administration building or something. Because uh, you kind of go in and to your right, there's a room where you order your food. And then the sitting area is in a separate room. You'll probably see that on the footage. But yeah, what a fantastic place. The ride to it, not challenging at all. You guys out there on your smaller bikes not challenging lovely ride lovely smooth steady ride a little bit of town traffic to deal with countrysides bloody great roads really good roads hey steady mate and little little villages like this Oh, that's a knock. Looks like a nice pub behind me there. Oh, ho, ho. very nice pub. But yeah. To be honest, I don't know if I was allowed, if I was supposed to be on that uh, dockside. I kind of just didn't see any keep out signs, so I took that as fair game. I must remember. When I get home, it's voting day. I've got to go vote. Oh. Though, to be honest, I don't know who to vote for because I think they're all a bunch of <coughs> in it for themselves. Mm. 
but that's beside the point and nothing to do with this channel yeah but yeah guys I would strongly recommend a trip down to the Riverview Calf in Beverly like I said it is not a challenging ride it's a lovely peaceful smooth ride uh, there's plenty of places to stop along the way uh, please 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 like subscribe and share this video if you can I'm trying to get my subscriber count up still I want to thank you all all my subscribers out there I want to thank you all uh, just thank you for your support thank you for your comments Thank you for tuning in every week and watching me. And I'll, I will leave you all lovely people to your day. So I will wish you all the best of days. Please, please, please ride safe. And I'll see you in the next episode. Bye for now.